Welcome tankers! Today we are going to look at the Tier 7 Stingray 2, which, not surprisingly, comes immediately after the Tier 6 Stingray and the Tier 4 Sheridan. There's no Tier 5 in the line for some reason. I'm not sure if there ever is going to be one, but right now there's not. And the Sheridan is the most overpowered tank that's been released so far. It is absolutely dominant at Tier 4. So when you get to the Stingray, it seems kind of disappointing, even though the Stingray is an overpowered tank and it's a great tank, the Sheridan is just so good. It feels like quite a step backwards when you get to the Stingray. And it's kind of the same thing with the Stingray too. The Sheridan was so phenomenal and the Stingray is so great that even though the Stingray 2 is great, it seems disappointing. Even though, it, again, it is a very good tank, and if anything it might be a little overpowered. But the Sheridan is just so good, everything pales in comparison. Now in this battle I've decided to come to the center hill, which is pretty dangerous in a, in a battle with four arty. As you'll see, I <laughs> take a lot of arty fire in this battle, so you want to be careful. If you get spotted up here, you want to make sure any guys back where this guy is don't have a shot at you, or else they'll be shooting and they'll be invisible, <laughs> and you'll be taking a lot of damage in a very short period of time. So you've got to be very careful when using this hill, especially if you get spotted. And if there's artillery in the battle, this is one of the few places that they actually have clear shots at you no matter where you are. So if you're lit up here, Artie will almost always be firing at you, as I am finding out here. And you have to be very careful when moving any far further forward than these bushes here, because the people down in the port can see you through the bushes, and they can hit you from a lot of different positions. Plus, anywhere forward of that hole, pretty much everyone in the south of the map can hit you as well, so you want to be very careful when pulling forward on this map, and you want to make sure you know where all the enemy team is before you even think about going somewhere where you can't escape within seconds. So I've decided to reposition here and see if we can get some other shots, because the guys down in the port had started to realize where I was. And we get one shot in before Artie's firing at us again. And you'll notice each time, as soon as the Artie warning comes, I want to move, and I want to move in a direction Artie isn't expecting me to go in, because they'll either be aiming exactly where you're sitting, and hoping you don't move when they shoot, or they'll be leading your tank, usually if, if you're moving forward they'll usually lead you to the front, or if you're sitting still they'll usually lead you behind, because they'll expect you to reverse as soon as you get the warning, so I try and go sideways if I can, or in a direction that they probably won't think I'd go. And you can usually avoid most of the major damage that way, and you'll only take maybe a bit of splash damage here and there. So now these guys know where I am, so again I'm gonna try and keep these rocks between me and them, but they've now decided to ignore me and try and kill my teammate, and that's great for me because I'm getting a lot of great shots into their back and side here. They probably should have worried about me before going to try and kill my friend there, because look at how much damage we're pumping into these guys and they can't really do anything because I'm hull down here and moving all the time, so they're going to need to have all three of these guys <laughs> start turning and firing at me. And now that they have, I'm going to be a lot more cautious about pulling out here. Like, you see there, I took a bad shot at his turret because I didn't want to pull out any further and take a hit. And now... It looks like the game is pretty much over, and we just have to clean up these few guys in the port. And again, I'm one-shottable now, and I know I've got all, all four of those guys looking at me, so I'm going to be very careful about pulling out. And hopefully we can get one or two more shots in here before the game is over. And in this battle, we only did two kills here, but it ended up being uh, well over 8,000 damage and scored extremely high in reputation. 
So this was the Stingray 2. Thanks for watching.